Did you know that you have the ability to share your JotForm tables? Well, let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and if you need to share one of your tables, you definitely can. And the great thing is there's lots of different levels of security that you can add so that people aren't able to edit and it can only view. So let's dive in. For this example, I'm gonna be using my very first form catalog request. I'm gonna come over to more and let's jump over to our submission table. Then in the top right hand corner, we have our share button. Now, before we click create link and share that link, let's walk through all the different settings. So I'm gonna click on the share settings right here. And we can see we have three different privacy options and each one is going to be a little bit different. So the first one is going to be that private table. This is gonna be available to only people that you invite or share the link to this table. Now with this one, we have some different roles that you can assign. So we can have read only so they can only view the data. We have commenter so they can view the data and they can add comments or they are collaborator. They can view and they can edit your data. And last, of course, you can also apply some limitations. We can show the print button, we can show the download button, and we can even set a custom expiration. So if you want only want to allow access to this table for maybe 24 hours or a week, you can set that time right within here. But for this example, let's go ahead and turn off that expiration and let's jump to the public table. Now with the public table, you can see that that default role is only available as a viewer because we don't want anyone who has access to that link to be able to view and edit because again, it's going to be a very public link. And of course, we also have the limitations right down here. We can show that print button if you would like. And then the last option is going to be company access. So this is going to require that only people in your organization are allowed to view this table. So just for example, we'll say that if their email address is name at jotform.com, they'll be able to access this table. And of course, we have the same default roles as the private table. We have read only, commenter, and collaborator. And again, we have the same limitations. We can show the print button, download button, and we can set that expiration link as well. So let's go ahead and put this back on a private table. Let's go ahead and choose, we can have collaborator access, Let's go back. And so now you can see that the invitation link has officially populated. So from here, we can either choose to copy this link and we can send it through Slack, whatever communication you are using, or we can invite by email addresses. So let's go ahead and invite by an email address. So you can see we can also add an optional invitation message as well. And right here, we can choose how we want them to be, of course, in the settings, we said that we wanted it to be a collaborator, but if we're sending this to multiple people and maybe there's one specific person that we just want to have read-only access, we can change that right here for this specific person to have read-only access. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that invitation and we can see right down here who it has been shared with. Now, if we need to revoke access or edit their access at any point, all we need to do is come back to this same place click on their name. We can change from read only to commenter or collaborator. So let's say, you know what, they've been promoted. They can now view and edit that data. We can change that. And again, we can click on the three dots to either resend the invitation or we can go ahead and revoke that user altogether. We'll go ahead and say yes, delete. And we'll go ahead and head back. And if at any point you decide that you want to just have this link completely changed. You don't want anyone that maybe you use the copy link option to send. You want to completely change that link. All we need to do is come here and refresh. Yes, let's go ahead and generate a new link. The old link is now no longer usable. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to share any of your JotForm tables, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.